Yo, what's up guys? It's Jeff from Updated and today we have the first beta of iOS 15.1 released to developers. So if you guys are still on the developer betas, this update should now be live over there for you guys. Now iOS 15 was just released yesterday to the public, but in today's video, we'll go over what's new here in iOS 15 beta one, when we should be seeing the second beta version and also how speed and performance is overall when using iOS 15 and iOS 15.1. So let's go ahead and get started. Today's beta update video is brought to you by Provado VPN. Provado VPN is by far one of the best value VPN services out there that only costs you $5 a month. With that, you get access to hundreds of servers spread across 47 server locations worldwide, unlimited monthly data, and a ton of privacy focused features that ensure that your internet browsing experience is truly private. Now, I personally love using a VPN to change my location from the United States to the United Kingdom so I can access different sports casts in Europe. And what's really cool about that experience is when watching a high quality sports cast, I never experience any buffering or lags by using Provado VPN. So if you are looking for a reliable, and also very fast and secure VPN service, check out Provado VPN through the link in the video description down below. Anyone that signs up through that link, whether that be for the yearly plan or just one month, will be eligible for a $200 Apple gift card reward as we'll be giving away one of those gift cards to every 10th user that signs up from now until the end of the month. So check out Provado VPN, the best value VPN service out there. Okay, so first off, we'll go over what was wrong specifically with the first iteration of iOS 15, and really nothing was that bad about the official release. There were just a few bugs here and there that needed to be fixed, but overall, nothing too serious. Uh, for me, the bugs I was experiencing was communication with the HomePods uh, was a little bit on and off, and then sometimes when I would open up several apps at a time and then switch between them, there was some significant lag. Now in iOS 15.1, I've tested all this and there isn't any issues. So I'm guessing that there was just a small bug and uh, that goes for the same for the HomePod issue as well. Everything looks fixed. So as of right now, all looks good in iOS 15.1 and so far it's been a quite bug free experience. Now, as far as performance goes, the performance is actually noticeably snappier on my iPhone 12 Pro Max using iOS 15.1 versus iOS 15. So with that said, everything feels a lot faster, smoother, and you shouldn't have any issues or complaints with speed on this first developer beta. And overall, I have to say it's actually uh, very stable considering this is the first developer beta. So guys, that was all I have to say in regards to bugs and performance between uh, these two software versions, but uh, let's go ahead and check out what's new here in iOS 15.1. Okay, so we have iOS 15.1 developer beta one installed onto uh, this device here. And as you can see, we do have a new build number that is 19B5042H. And if we go down here to the modem firmware, we have new modem firmware 2.10.00, and that is all of what's new in the about screen here. We're not going to leave the settings app though because we have some new uh, things or just very small changes here that have been made. If we go down into the phone section, we do have a new icon for announce calls. So um, this menu has not changed, um, but we do have a new uh, icon for the announce calls feature. Just a very small change there within uh, the phone settings in the settings app. Now, one other thing that I noticed uh, specifically for 15.1 uh, is that if you go down into transfer or reset iPhone, um, this might have been live in iOS 15, but I didn't feel like it was because I, I went about this in iOS 15 and I didn't see this. But once you go ahead and uh, you see prepare for new iPhone here at the top and you tap on get started, uh, this uh, prompt comes up for you'll be ready for your new iPhone, uploading apps and data to iCloud. Um, but on the uh, iPhone that I have, specifically with um, an iCloud Plus subscription, um, which costs I think 99 cents per month, there's actually a different page that loads that basically allows you to see um, what you're going to be getting with that I iCloud Plus subscription. Essentially what it does is it allows you to um, use unlimited data, it gives you extra iCloud storage to move apps and data through 
when you are transferring to a new phone and you need to back up all that data. Um, so you can go ahead and tap on continue or not now for that prompt, but that does require an iCloud Plus subscription just in case you guys are looking for that specific setting. Now, when you go into the health app, you actually now through iOS 15.1 have the ability to add a COVID vaccine card uh, through your Apple wallet. So essentially what you do is you go to browse and then you go all the way down to health records and you might have already had this set up, um, but if you have it set up, in California specifically, you can go if you have like any of these hospitals or um, records that you need to access, um, you can add those accounts. And if you have a COVID vaccination record on hand, um, you can actually add that to your Apple wallet and you can uh, use that like QR code and everything like that. All that information can be scanned by restaurants or um, anyone that is asking for that vaccine card. So that is now active in iOS 15.1 and I'm sure Apple want to get that out pretty quickly here as obviously that is a very pertinent uh, feature uh, in, the, in the time that we live in. Now, when you go to the App Store, there's actually a uh, prompt. We saw this in iOS 15, but it's also popping up here in iOS 15.1. It's basically um, obviously a big ad there, but Apple is uh, kind of advertising what they want um, for you to select in regards to personalized ads. Um, so they want you to select, they give you kind of like a disclaimer here, and then also um, exactly what personalized ads are, kind of like a brief description. But they're asking you, do you want personalized ads turned on or off. Now, I personally like to have these on because Apple's gonna send you ads anyway, so I'd rather have ads that are actually pertinent to my use case scenario, uh, but you can actually go and select off should you not want those, um, but there's always a learn more option where Apple gives you an even uh, more kind of like bigger description of what Apple um, advertising and privacy is all about. So you have uh, on or off options there, when you go ahead and select it, it sends you right into the App Store um, as a regular App Store experience. Now, if you go into the Photos app here, I have uh, kind of like a screenshot of iOS 15, the update. So there's a lot of text here, and I noticed the text OCR feature works a lot faster on iOS 15.1. So if I activate this feature here, um, just tap on this button, it's kind of frozen here you can see that it pops up a lot faster. Before, this wasn't exactly um, as fast. It kind of had to scan and uh, read the picture a little bit longer. Now it's just super fast, notices all the text. And of course, I can go ahead and extract that text really quickly from this update page. So I can copy and paste essentially everything I see here on the screen and uh, use that elsewhere uh, through the copy and paste function. So text OCR is working a lot faster here in iOS 15. Okay, now a feature that Apple took away in the iOS 15 betas was actually SharePlay, and you can see it's up here on the top right-hand corner. I'm going to activate it on my other phone that I have here, um, and you can see here that um, SharePlay will now work. Um, so essentially what SharePlay is, is you can share your screen um, with whoever you're FaceTiming with. So if I go here into uh, the main menu or the main homepage of my other phone here that I have, I can actually share my screen live and exactly what I'm doing. Um, so I can share exactly what I'm doing on screen, but I can also like share movies and stuff that I'm watching. So this is actually a really cool experience and it looks like um, from the betas of iOS 15, Apple has worked out all of the bugs that we were experiencing before in regards to SharePlay. So SharePlay is officially back here in iOS 15.1. This is an awesome feature and will allow so much more when you're FaceTiming. So definitely check out this feature if you were on the iOS 15.1 betas. Okay, so that was what was new in beta one here. And I guess that the last thing to discuss is when we might be seeing beta two. Now, my guess is that we should be seeing the iOS 15.1 betas releasing quite quickly, given we have new hardware being released this week and Apple will want to get uh, all the new features that we just saw on this first beta out to those users who are just now getting their new hardware, uh, kind of as soon as possible. So with that said, do expect beta two next week, most likely Tuesday, and an official release within the next month or so for iOS 15.1. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's iOS 15.1 beta one update video. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or even any new features that you noticed and we didn't to add to this video, please leave those in the comment section down below so others can go ahead and check those out as well.
Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on the updated YouTube channel. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some other things that we have going on, check the channel information link down below. It's solo.to slash updated. You can check out our channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week. That podcast is called The Infinite Loop, and we talk about everything going on in the world of tech. Also, we have links to our giveaways sponsored by awesome companies like Provado VPN, so definitely check those out as well. We'll have a new one every single month. So guys, thank you again for watching today's video and we hope to see you guys in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.